Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some Stellaris. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a bit of an update on how things have been going with our collective empire, the Sporn Collective, a huge hive mind that uh, has actually become pretty powerful in this universe. So what has helped me most, as you can determine from the title, is the terraforming boost. Once I got like atmospheric, uh, filtering or something like that, a special technology that allowed me to terraform any planet into arid planets. I basically got this huge boost in colonizable planets within my territory, which now allows me to have 13 out of 14 core systems. And I'm actually going to be colonizing a 15th one, uh, 14th one pre pretty soon. And here I have two sectors with five, six planets, one over here and one all the way down here as well that uh, is at the moment reinforcing itself. I'm letting these guys actually build military stations in there. So they are securing themselves quite uh, heavily. Hopefully it'll all work out. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing. I've been consolidating myself and the result right here. If we compare ourselves to the rest of the galaxy, most of the other ones are pathetic and inferior. So that's um, all of the guys that have emerged together with me. And here we have Stagnant Ascendancy, the Mishar Watchers. They are superior to me, which is of course better than Overwhelming, which is what they usually are. Here we've got the other Stagnant Ascendancy, the Geeks Lufran Progenitors. They are also just superior. The rest is pathetic and inferior. These are these Watchers. And so, as you can see, I still have a lot of planets that I can add to my collective, which we are, of course, planning to do. And my economy, it's going decently well. The credits, energy credits, I need to work on that just a little bit, but uh, the minerals are doing quite nicely. Military-wise, almost 60k in fleets. And at the moment, I'm basically building up more battleships in order to uh, get to the maximum naval capacity. Um, so, some of the more recent colonies here uh, basically, I had so many minerals available that I was able to invest beforehand in um, the resources that I wanted. So mostly energy at the moment. Here you get a lot of energy. Here you have a lot of food. They do like to go for a lot of food early on, which uh, allows them to grow more quickly, of course. And over here, we have a bit of more of a mixed picture with energy and some mines all working for the economy. So... I must say it's been going really well. Do I have like something to do with research? Nope, not right away. Um, luckily, my science ships are doing some automatic stuff. And this one construction ship is grabbing these systems. So yeah, looking really good at the moment. Uh, I'm very happy with my uh, with my Sporen Collective here, a hive mind. Uh, but I have to be honest, I've been playing this in order to get to the end game of uh, of the hive mind of, of the new expansion and so far we've basically not seen that this is the regular uh, Stellaris experience for me where uh, I try to get that that good start with a strong economy so that I can get my early colonies before the rest and after that it tends to snowball into this situation where I am pretty big uh, in uh, in size um, and of course much more powerful than the rest because I have this extremely strong economy that now allows me to pump out better and bigger ships more quickly, get more colonies up and running, have good growth. Uh, but I want to get to the end game which is of course for me uh, at this point the mega structures and I have yet to see any sort of research that goes into that direction. So um, if you do like Stellaris but you're not sure about the expansion I would say keep this in mind uh, you're going to have to go through basically an entire game to see those make structures to see uh, that uh, that new uh, end game content that new content basically in uh, the game itself uh, of Stellaris with the expansion so I've been enjoying my playthrough with uh, with the hive mind though that has been uh, very interesting to me they have this huge advantage that no matter what type of planet they're on, uh, they're on a, co a couple of here on desert planets, for instance, they'll still work their butts off. They give you 100%. These drones are there to serve the hive mind. And that is a big advantage. You don't have to worry about happiness. You don't have to worry about factions. This is how I uh, really enjoy playing uh, Stellaris. 
I don't like to micromanage different factions, having to juggle happiness as well. Uh, I want to, yeah, basically this this would be my ideal uh, idea of, of like a sci-fi civilization. It's a huge hive mind uh, that uh, works together in one goal, no matter what happens. To me, very, very cool. And uh, hopefully it's going to work out and I'll be able to get to that end game. I don't think it's going to be a problem considering where we are compared to the rest, of course. But who knows? Uh, as I've said, I'm not looking for trouble. Uh, although this guy has been a little bit annoying here. The Terrassi star regime, uh, they really don't like us very much. So we might pay them a visit at some point. But really, the focus now is on continuing to build up my advantage. Get into a position where I might become... Uh, able to defend myself from these uh, stagnant empires and uh, and then see what uh, what comes next and, and, and grab a couple of those superstructures which hopefully I'll be able to do with this uh, with this economy so oh and I actually haven't pressed play in this uh, <laughs> whole six minutes uh, that's why my colony just wouldn't want to start uh, but yeah, that basically, System survey complete. thank you, gives you guys a bit of a rundown of, on what I've been doing with this uh, Sporn Collective. It's been going really well and uh, let's see what, what comes next here. My research, I think it's okay at this point, 150, 160, up to 180 here for engineering. Uh, but still, you know, some of the bigger research is 45 months. That's still definitely a pretty long time uh, to have to spend here. Subject integration has begun, so that's someone else that's doing that. And let's take a look here. So we've got some more minerals coming, which I can use, but I definitely want some energy in there as well. So let's also upgrade these guys. That one as well. Colonization in progress. And my colonization has started for my 14th planet in my core systems. Looks pretty good so far. And uh, as I've said, because of my strong economy, I've really been able to drab a colony, um, upgrade the spaceport to max, max my uh, army as well, uh, my naval capacity as much as possible, and then even invest in some buildings before the populations have actually grown, grown here. Uh, I feel in a very, very comfortable uh, situation with the minerals and the energy credits. And I think a big part of it is that I don't have to look at anything else right on this planet it's food it's minerals it's energy and it's some unity and then research but that's it there there are not no buildings wasted on happiness uh, there are no factions springing up there are no people that are um, yeah, striking or unhappy or things like that all of these guys are perfect they are all my little drones working really hard on getting everything up and running and uh, growing the collective it's a uh, very borg like uh, but uh, in these kinds of games that is definitely my favorite play style uh, let's maybe upgrade this baby as well we can use another bio lab in here plus 200 food i think that's complete. okay i don't i don't have to waste too much energy at this point uh, i don't want to go too low on that and then some more terraforming done in Ginigan tree which ooh, is within this complete. system and so you'll see pretty complete. soon the uh the guys from the sectors complete. are actually going to send a colony system ship over there complete as well which is going to continue to grow my empire 704 out of 730 so we can definitely use a couple more battleships which are eight so that puts me at 712 20 28 so we can do two more battleships after that and then it's the colony another starport increasing my capacity and uh, even more armies one thing as well uh, that i've not been focusing on and it's maybe a mistake um, i've not really been focusing on my ships very much so basically i grabbed missiles three i've got power uh, some decent power fusion reactors and some shields in there but other than that even my battleships are very bland which is not a good idea so at this point, I want to keep researching. I want to find better weapons as well to upgrade my ships. Uh, but I especially want that technology for these mega structures. Hopefully, I'll be able to, uh, to get that without getting into too much trouble. And then the one thing that you will experience... Oh, here co goes the colony ship uh, towards that planet there. They're pretty complete. fast because my economy is so strong. So they can afford all of these... Uh, all of these defensive stations they even upgrade their own oops except for this one 
Oh, there we go. He's actually doing it up to level 6 complete. as well. They upgrade their own spaceports as well. Uh, really nice to be able to let these sectors go and do their own thing uh, in a balanced way because I have the economy for it. So, very cool. Just getting a little bit worried about my energy credits here. So we may need to switch some populations around after that. But what I was saying as well, uh, a big change of course with the expansion is this unity system. And uh, that is one thing of course that you will uh, get in touch with from the very beginning. And I chose prosperity first, I think for the economy, minus 50%, uh, ship cost and building cost, absolutely huge here. Building upkeep minus 10%, really huge as well. This energy grid also providing complete. unity it's pretty handy as well private colony ship i never use that although i think it doesn't matter um as a, as a hive mind and let's grab another one of these while we can and i go back into the unity system and here again ship upkeep Research just complete. makes you stronger early on so mm. i like it a lot uh, we could go for improved fighters doesn't take too long or plasma thrusters yeah we'll go for plasma thrusters make my military ships a bit more mobile and uh, again back to the unity here after prosperity i took expansion uh, because well you need a lot of unity to keep going and the first perk of course imperial prerogative get up to five core systems meant that i would have a lot of colonies so i liked uh, that the extra colonies effects would be reduced because of this uh, a second population on a new colony really huge impact there as well and in general expansion is pretty good when you want a lot of colonies and 10 core systems right off the bat after that i chose technological ascendancy for more research i went for discovery then i took defender of the galaxy this was a pretty interesting one i think uh, because there were only two stagnant empires here i think i could go for that who knows what uh, what drops research by and i'll be complete. more powerful and very big advantage as well this opened up a lot of doors mm, clone army that'd be cool i haven't really ever done that and so that could be newer empire leader uh, well, mm, that's pretty big though. The collective self though sounds really good. So we'll take a big one Go for the collective self next. We'll build a final battleship for this one And we need to keep an eye on the colony uh, But it's going really well so far uh, And what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the unity uh, This one defender of the galaxy everybody complete. likes you a lot more all of a sudden because of that And so a lot of borders opened up allowing my science ships to go out there and uh, actually do a bit more Incoming research. What do you guys want? All right, we'll agree. Sharing star charts doesn't bother me too much. And there we go. So we've got another, let's see here, two, that's 16, bringing me at 28. No, we can actually do an extra one, which will be right here. I think that should be close to the maximum. And then here, the Nukan colony will be here in really not a lot of time less than one month research wise this is where i need to probably work on next uh, once the economy is where i want it once i'm maxed out once i've grabbed all the other planets because there's still quite a few colonies for me to build as i've said that that they are forming and then the atmospheric filtering colony or something like that is really really a huge thing uh, that is going to allow you to basically take that next step become a rival of even these uh, these uh, fallen empires and uh, yeah it's it's been working really well so far without going to war without getting into trouble i'm in this position where i feel like i will be able to uh, get to end game with these guys but it's taking a long time to find the first new structures new options new gameplay options basically uh, from this expansion which i think is unfortunate uh, honestly when i had heard that you could do something like um, um, orbiting colonies or something like that so you could have a planet and around that instead of, of uh, uh, just a, a station or a, a ship uh, a shipyard you could have a place that would have tiles for you to grow population and things like that to be honest, this is something that I would like to see earlier in the game, uh, which means uh, that it gives you this option to remain small, but become very compact uh, and very high population uh, without basically complete. needing to go this, this expansionist route uh, in order to be comfortable when it comes to... Uh, to your end game and that's that's definitely not a part of uh, of the design uh, of the mega structures and the new options 
in this expansion so far. But uh, there you go, guys. That is, I think, let's take a look here at the surface. Um, all right, that little bit of food will uh, upgrade that. And here we'll build a mine. So this is what I've been doing after that as well, because of my strong economy. I can basically afford to put up some extra buildings so that I don't have to watch everything too closely as the population grows. I can just let this do its thing and uh, focus on more important things like increasing my army and uh, doing taking the right research, uh, research choices. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. As I said, I'll keep you guys up to date and uh, I'll see you guys next time.